Hi everybody, Zach here and welcome back to the channel and this is a new series that I'm planning on starting a little bit, uh, this or that, and the first one we're going to kick it off with is Polygon or Cardano, and uh, can't wait to see what you think of this. Definitely want to hear from you at some point after you watch this video down in the comments. Give me a minute too. I'm going to hold most of them for review, then I accept them just to keep all the, you know, you know what out of the uh, comments section, but um yeah, this is something I'm planning on doing a little bit more of. Let me know your thoughts of this if you enjoy it. And we're going to kick it off with this one, Polygon versus Cardano. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. Uh, hopefully you get some value here. I think you will. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're coming back for a second time, third time, or you've been here many times before, so happy you decided to come back to this channel and get some content and get some value. So let's get into it. Polygon versus Cardano, which is a better investment? And uh, first and foremost, I like both of these assets. I just want to put that out there right away, okay? Polygon, I like because it's a layer two solution for Ethereum. It's really going to help Ethereum take that next step to Ethereum 2.0. And then Cardano, with smart contracts rolling out soon, it's really a good hedge, they say, against Ethereum. Now, I own both Ethereum and Cardano, but uh, both of these, you know, top 20 assets, top 15 assets, uh, the majority of 2021, and I think this is a good comparison because they're similar in price. And when we start to look at both of these and uh, you start asking the questions, which one of these can grow more in the next year, two years, three years, heck, five years, depending on how long you're planning on holding these assets. So this should be a lot of fun. So this website here, um, macroaxis.com, a uh, pretty cool resource. You should definitely check it out. Uh, you can find a lot of different comparisons. And I'll be using this site quite a bit, I think. Uh, I did kind of scour around here. They do have quite a few of these various comparisons. So now this says uh, the pair correlation between Polygon and Cardano. What this looks at is what's more volatile and what they came up with in this um, in this was Polygon is 2.39 times more volatile than Cardano. Now you can look at that uh, in a positive light and a negative light, right? Positive light would be, hey, if this thing starts running, it could probably run higher than Cardano because, uh, you know, high risk, high reward. Whereas Cardano kind of fluctuates in more of a channel uh, that uh, is, is a little less volatile, right? And I think we've seen that uh, in these past few months. And uh, so that's kind of a nice way to start. Polygon is probably the more volatile of the two, all right? And we'll take a look at the performance of these. And we, we're taking a look at April, May, and June here. And you can start to see Polygon just had some great a uh, couple months here, a few months back, where you know it was, uh, it really came out of nowhere. If you remember, it was in the 30s and market cap came all the way up to like number 15 uh, at one time. So I think it's situated right in there right now. Actually, we'll take a look at where it's at. Actually, we'll pop over. It's number 17 right now. But uh, yeah, you can see here over the past few months, Polygon. You could definitely see that volatility, right? But uh, again, high risk, high reward with Polygon. All right, so if we go down here, uh, we get. Uh, some insight as well here. Here's the price channel for Polygon Cardano price channel. And here's the volatility contrast as well. So you've got Matic in the blue line and ADA here in the red line. Okay, and you can kind of see here the differences between these two. Now, pair trading with Polygon and Cardano, the main advantage of trading using opposite Polygon and Cardano positions is that it hedges away from unsystematic risk. Because of the two separate transactions, even if Polygon positions, position performs unexpectedly, Cardano can make up some of the losses. Pair trading also minimizes risk with directional movements in the market. For example, if an entire industry or sector drops because of unexpected headlines, the short, the short position in Cardano will offset losses from the drop in Cardano's long position. Uh, they're talking about having, you know, both long and short positions on these assets. So this is kind of a cool tool, and uh, we'll continue to use something like this. Now, what I want to do here is now jump into Polygon itself and where we're at right now. So it's down about 5% right now, under a dollar. First and foremost, love Polygon under a dollar here, okay? Uh, but when we look at the charts here, Obviously, we had the huge run-up in May, and we're going to take a look at where these all-time highs were set. We'll scroll down here. $2.68 was set back on May 18th, so we're 63% off the highs. I do think in the short term here, the next bull run, we can set new all-time highs. Now, can we get all the way up to a $5 number? 
I don't think so. Not yet this year. Now, when I look at Cardano here in the short term, it's $1.29 right now, down a little bit. We'll take a look at its all-time highs, where they sit is about $2.46, which is very similar. That's why it's kind of interesting to compare these. 246 and 268. So Polygon has actually been higher than Cardano. However, in the short term here, where could Cardano go? I think Cardano can 5x, meaning I think it can get to $5 and probably higher, uh, simply because it has a big catalyst looming in the form of smart contracts come fall and September. So if you're looking at from now until the end of 2021 and you're trying to decide which one should I put some money in right now leading up to the end of the year? I would probably have to say Cardano. If you're looking for one for the long term, that's where the question gets a little bit more interesting. And we're going to take a look at some of the price predictions and maybe that'll help us inform some of our decisions. Again, hopefully you're enjoying this, this or that. Uh, if you are, give it a thumbs up. So Cardano price prediction, we're going to take it out to 2425, okay? And uh, this is crypt Cryptona.com, and they give you a, a bunch of different price predictions here, which is pretty cool. So they're saying after starting at 2024 at $3.58. So this is pretty bearish because I'm thinking we can get to $5 here. ADA is expected to rise to 406 halfway through the year. The second half of 224, uh, 2024 is expected to be slower. See the price of Cardano end the year at $4.06, okay? Now, if that's the case, we'll take a look at uh, the same kind of time frame here for Polygon. Again, some different resources, but it gives us some idea, okay? This is digital coin price. So if we look at 2024, they're saying we're going to be right around those all-time highs numbers, $2.54. Now, they did not think we'd get you know, up there here in 2021. Take a look at this. They had us at $1.40. And we got all the way up to, what was it, $2.68, okay? So, uh, as you can see, these are just projections. But if they, if you take a look at this steady growth, by 2025, this says we get to $3. Maybe just double this to give it some point of a number here. And we'll say maybe this gets to $6, okay? Just give or take. Uh, if the market continues to be a little bit more... Um, on the up and up than these projections. So we'll say six here, and then we'll, we'll double the Cardano price prediction here. So maybe $8. So you can see, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can kind of go about this. Again, I think the big takeaway in this, this or that is, Polygon is more risky, but again, high risk, high rewards. Cardano is situated nicely in terms of where it is in the market cap as well. It's number five in market cap. You can see here, that's another big metric you want to look at. Uh, and that's why it's less um, volatile, right? It's got a $41 billion market cap where Polygon has kind of rebranded itself, right? Polygon used to be just Matic. Uh, it's still Matic, uh, the ticker symbol. But they're a much lower market cap. They're still in the billions, uh, but they're a $6 billion market cap compared to a $41 billion market cap. Now, you don't necessarily have to pick one or the other either. I'm invested in both, and I'm going to tell you where I'm at with my positions. Right now, I hold more Cardano than Polygon. I have Ethereum is my biggest holding, then Cardano. I believe in these two projects long term. But because I believe in Ethereum and Polygon is so attached to Ethereum, uh, Polygon right now is my fourth largest position. But earlier this year, Polygon was number two. So this is a tough this or that for me too. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Hopefully you got some value and I'll see you in the next video.